Compression Therapy Welcome to the Compression Therapy Process developed by Dr. S. R. Narahari and collaborators at the Institute of Applied Dermatology. Compression therapy is an important stage in the integrative medicine treatment protocol for treating lymphatic filariasis. This video explains the process of compression therapy using bandages. As you have seen in the previous video, the IMLD process helps in lymph drainage. While in compression therapy, pressure is exerted over the skin to drain the fluid upwards. Now pay attention to the way the compression therapy is done. Before you start the compression therapy, assemble the following materials. Compression bandages, cold cure foam or sponge molds, ripped cotton stockinette or cotton cloth, toe bandages, clips to secure and MCR or microcellular rubber if advised. Compression may be given as full compression, half compression or half and half compression as per the doctor's advice. Compression protocol will vary and will be decided by the treatment team for each patient. Therefore, it is important to understand the bandage tying method used by the compression therapist or nurse when it is done at the IAD center. A cotton cloth or ripped cotton stock in it should be worn before tying bandages. This prevents the direct contact of bandage with the skin and helps to avoid soiling of the bandages with oil. First, insert the molds to separate the skin folds as advised. It helps to bring the skin folds to the same level and helps in even drainage of fluids. Use cotton toe bandages to compress the toes. Tie the bandage around each toe separately. Then tie compression bandages from foot till knee or up to the groin according to the extent of edema. Make sure that compression bandaging is always done in the upward direction, that is, from foot upwards. Those who have more swelling over foot, bandages of 8 cm or 10 cm wide can be used. Apply more pressure over foot and reduce the pressure while moving up. Pressure over thigh should be less compared to the lower part. Finally, secure the bandage with the clip anteriorly. This completes the compression therapy process. However, we strongly advise you to understand the following tips which would help the whole therapy process. Wash the compression material once in 15 days or whenever it becomes dirty in normal tap water with bathing soap. Do not squeeze or twist the compression material. Dry it in shade or under fan by keeping it over a newspaper on the floor. In this way, you can use the same bandage material repeatedly for almost a month. Do not use moist, dirty compression materials as they may cause secondary infections. Improper bandage may cause blisters or may aggravate the swelling of your limbs. Improper use of molds may cause damage to your skin. Compression bandages should be removed if there is severe pain, burning sensation, fever or severe pruritus. Make sure to wear proper footwear which will not disturb the compression bandage. You must know that compression bandages play a major role in reducing the limb size and sustaining it.
In the next video, you will learn about bacterial entry points and how to take care of them.